All right, folks, what do you think? All right, what do you think this time? All right, folks, what do you think this time? Hello YouTube, this is Captain Dave on the back porch and what you just saw was a little video of some of my normal footwear that I wear on my boat, out fishing, getting wet, getting nasty, and a new pair of shoes that I was provided by a company named Vessi, V-E-S-S-I. And these are the shoes. Extremely lightweight. Extremely lightweight. Supposedly water resistant. And a minimalist design. Grippy bottom. High traction. Slip-ons, as you saw. Just slip-on. I decided to try them with no socks supposedly also very breathable. Now, I'm not usually a non-sock kind of guy. And I'm also usually big into, on my boat, foot protection. I have dropped saltwater catfish and they hit the gunnel of the boat, do a triple flip, come down with their pectoral fin and go right into a leather shoe. A day later, my foot is so blown up when like a all swelled up with a possible infection that I can't even get my shoe on the next day. I was provided these to give my honest opinion, but I'm also putting the question out to my viewers, my subscribers. What do you think? All right, without I mean without trying them, but what do you just what is your initial thoughts? First off, they say that they're breathable right but at the same time they're water repellent or water resistant and we're going to test that here in a minute compared to other shoes i'm definitely not a lace guy i'm a slip-on guy all right and these are the nasty sketchers that i wear a lot all right so these are what i normally wear and see right here that's water stains, that's blood, that's grime. I wear these like work boots. Then the other boot, <coughs> excuse me, that I wear many times in the winter is slip on extra tufts. The Vessies and the extra tufts have a little in common from what I gather right off the get go. I just got these in the mail. That, like I said, they were sent to me for free, no holes barred, just honest opinion, try it out. Now these I can really only wear when it's not 95 degrees out, usually 75 or below. Is This is neoprene, like wetsuit material, and then the rubber is attached to it. So they say that these can breathe and do all this, yeah, oh they can breathe. Eh, not really. Right? But the similarities that I'm seeing in this material right here and this material right here is that it also is a neoprene kind of material. And they just put this checker pattern on the outside to give it a little more. I'm going to test these to see if they're water resistant. I put them on without socks. I think I'd be a sock guy. I'm really always a sock guy. I've been a sock guy my entire life. I'm not one of these flip-flop wearing people. I see the similarities between this neoprene right here and the Vessies. But I can notice this kind of neoprene material. And they're saying that it's water resistant and all that so we'll see 
the nice thing about the shrimp boat, shrimp boat, shrimp boots rolled down is you can always pop them up when you're in deeper water, like when I'm putting the boat on the trailer or something like that. And these are Royals. These are Royals, the name of this company that makes these. Around here, Royals are your number one boot. These are actually, when you put them on like this, they're really just slip-on. And the whole idea is that because if you ever went overboard from a shrimp boat or any boat, you kick your boots off right away. And I find them quite comfortable all day and not really that hot. So let's go and try the water resistance of these vessies. Wow. You see that, folks? Water is just beating right off of it. Wow. I'm totally impressed. I am totally impressed with that. Look at that. That's amazing. They are waterproof. Either of these. I am totally impressed with that. Water, these will definitely have a place for me. Now these are more like, to me, I'm into serious heavy duty footwear, right? But these might be just, you know, for me, around the house. But I would like to know if they're great for on the boat, which they would be, but maybe not for me because they're going to get really nasty. All right, now you can see the water's beating on them. But I still might wear socks with them. These are what I wear on the boat most of the time just because they can get stained, they can get nasty, and I can just shoot, shoot them off with the hose. When I get home, I'm cleaning the boat. But I look like wearing these, I'm kind of European. So, what do you think? Do you think these fit Dave's style? Or should I stick to Skechers, Shrimper Boots, and Extra Tufts? I can honestly tell you, I think just, you know, around the house, when I want to throw something on real quick, you know, here in the summer and I don't have I don't have shoes on and I just want to run outside and that kind of thing. These are going to be great for that. You can find them at Vessi, V-E-S-S-I, footwear.com. And as I said, these were provided to me for my honest opinion. No strings attached. I received them today. And I'm going to wear them around. I'm going to see what it's like to be a Vessi waterproof slip-on wearer. So this is just a little FYI about boating footwear. Now if I was just out on the pontoon boat at the lake or something, I can tell you my job is pretty nasty when I'm running my boat with customers and stuff like that and cleaning fish. And a lot of it's to do with uh, fitting the lifestyle or not, but I just guarantee that's where they're going to get super nasty. BessieFootwear.com. Thank you for watching, and thanks for Bessie for sending them to me. So what do you think? Leave your comments below. Don't forget to subscribe. Push that bell, notification bell. I know everybody wants to know about fishing, but I was about to make a video yesterday, but just standing in the rain, that wasn't very exciting. So I'll see you on the next one, the next time the sun is shining and the fish are coming over the side. All right, this is Captain Dave, and thanks for watching.